Okay guys, since I have the day off, it's Monday, I'm gonna show you guys one of my smaller shoot 'em up collections, and that's for the Xbox 360, and that's a system that I've really come to appreciate. I'd say over these past two years, there's a bunch of great games on that system. Anyway, first game, and I don't have the original case for this, but I did find it at GameStop, and that's Raiden Fighters Aces. No manual or anything, but you know, a game like this, I just wanna play the game. You know, I know people, they need the case, you know, eventually I will find it, but I'm not gonna buy the case for this till I find it for a pretty good deal. Um, next game and a lot of these games are imports but this is pink sweets and mushy mushy pork um, two cave shooters uh, you'll notice uh, a theme on this system is cave released a lot of their games exclusively on the xbox 360 but uh this one is complete um unfortunately the price on this one has gotten kind of crazy um i forget what i paid for this but i remember i found most of these for a little bit under uh, what they were going for on you know places like ebay um, Amazon Japan and Zen Market was a, uh, some sites that I used to get a lot of these. Uh, we have Bullet Storm, Bullet Storm, Bullet Soul, Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. Um, I don't have the original version of this game, but this is essentially it's the definitive version. It's Bullet Soul and then Bullet Soul with the added burst mode. Um, I do believe there is different music in the burst mode, but uh, yeah, fantastic shooter. Um, yeah, again, the price on this one has gotten uh, kind of crazy. I recommend looking on sites like Amazon Japan and uh, you know different auction sites over in Japan, Yahoo Auctions and stuff like that. Next up, we have Ginger Force. Uh, this is actually a sealed copy. I got this. Uh, oh God, too many games, or maybe it was Magfest a couple of years ago. I did have a loose disc version of this game, so I just play that. But this is actual sealed copy and you know when it comes to shooters stuff like this you know i don't mind having sealed copies if i have a copy i can actually play but um i guess i would i guess i would consider this a dojin shooter um i think it might have had a development circle before it had the you know mainstream release on uh, xbox 360 but you know, if you know anything about that let me know in the comments down below but that's ginger force okay next up we have yet another sealed game and this is eschatos um this is, the, as you can see, the Wonder Price Edition. And a funny thing about this game and Ginger Force, I do believe, and you know, let me know if I'm wrong about this, but there are ports of Judgment Silver Sword on the disc on this game. As you can see, there's the Wonder Witch from the, the Wonder Swan, uh, I guess, brand. But uh, yeah, Eschatos, this is a Dojin shooter. I know that because I have a version of this on the PC, but excellent shooter. Uh, I cannot recommend the soundtrack, the OST to this game enough. It is absolutely excellent. Um, I don't have it. I listen to it on YouTube. You know, one of these days I'm going to spend the, what, $50 it costs for the CD and, and get it. Or I'll, I'll get the original version that has the OST. But I use that soundtrack in my YouTube videos. I listen to it in the car. This has the best video game soundtrack I've ever heard uh, in my life. And I got this from Video Games New York at a convention as well. Um, and I do have a disc version. This is a, uh, a loose disc version. This is a sealed copy. Um, you know, it's 50 bucks. So that, that was actually a great deal on this game. But that's Eschatos. And next up, we have Absoluta. Um, I have the original version that was ported to consoles for this game um, up there somewhere. It's for the uh, PlayStation 2. Um, great shooter. If you guys like uh, S Parade, it plays a lot. Here's S Parade right here. Um, yeah, these, these games play very similar to each other. Um, I recommend actually both of these games, especially this. If you guys watch my channel, you see I've been live streaming the shit out of this. But anyway, that's S Parade. Uh, Epscaluda, uh, great shooter. Um, you know, I think when I got this, the price on it was like right around $30. Now, there's a collector's edition for this game. Now, this is a region free. All these games I'm going to show you, except for one, are region free. Um, this game right here, the original, I think the collector's edition for this is not region free. So, you want to get this uh, this copy right here. I guess that's uh, Epscaluda 2 Black Label. Um, this is the one you want, so look for this if you're going to buy it online, because if you get the original version, I guess the collector's edition, it is region locked, and you're not going to be able to play it unless you get a Japanese or region-free console. But anyway, that's Epscaluda. And let's see, next up we have a game that was released here in the States. Um, I think it had a World Rod release, but anyway, this is a IK Katana, a great shooter. Now, of all the games that we had released out here in the United States, um, we only got the horizontal scrolling shooters. We didn't get any of the vertical uh, shooters that Cave made, which is kind of weird. Um, I think the price on this has actually gone up as of late. Um, when I got this, this was like a $20 game, and I do believe it, uh, it came with a soundtrack. Um, yeah, great shooter. Look at those uh, screenshots on the back. Screen full of bullets. <laughs> God damn. And I know you guys love when I stream stuff like this, so 
That's uh, Ike Katana. You should be able to, of all the games I'm showing you, this one you can probably get for a pretty decent price, and it's, it's pretty good. And next game, this one's, uh, I got this new at a convention, but I didn't have a copy of it. It's Dodonpachi Resurrection, which is a, this is a PAL port um, of a game that, I guess, not. it's not exclusive to Japan anymore, I don't think, but there's a port of that game, one of the Dodonpachi games. Um, yeah, I got this from uh, Video Games New York at Mad, at Mad Fest, like uh, Mad Fest, Mag Fest, <laughs> a couple of years ago. 60 bucks, and it uh, came with a soundtrack, and seals popped on this one. I uh, Looks like it's sealed, but it's not. Um, and it played the hell out of this game. Um, from what I heard, this game was rushed uh, in production, and you can kind of see hints of that. Uh, if you get to the laser cannon level, I think it's level 4 or level 5, guys, if you if you've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Dead on Pachi Resurrection. Um, excellent game. Here's another U.S. release that we got. Uh, it's another one of those cave horizontal scrolling shooters. Um, Death Smiles now. I don't have the collector's edition uh, for this game. But. See this character right here with the red hair? Right there with that face? There's a... Guys, if any of you guys know about this, let me know. There's an unlockable character in S. Parade. Um, she's not on the cover or anything. Maybe she's on the back, you know? Anyway, there's an unlockable character from this game. I think it's from Death Smiles. Maybe it's from some kind of Japanese anime or manga. I don't know, guys. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. You know, I would love to, to get some info on that. But, um, yeah, this is a pretty cheap game. You, you should be able to find this for, oh, God. I, this was an eBay purchase for me, and it, it was extremely cheap. Um less than 20 bucks i you know now I, I don't know i don't know if this has gone up in, in value I, I could imagine this is probably still right around maybe 20 30 at the most um you know i'm not too current on the prices on these but decent shooter this seems to be one that a lot of people like it's got a definitely got a following um not i think a lot of that's due to the fact that it had a u.s release but you know who knows but anyway death smiles okay this I got at GameStop. I still have the GameStop, <laughs> GameStop sticker on there, but Raiden 4. Um, and I was an Elite Pro member at the time. None of us are anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, this was uh, 20 bucks. It's complete. I do believe this has an OST in there. Pretty sure. Maybe not. I mean, they're known for the, rad, the Raiden games. Raiden, Raiden, whatever. They're, uh, the past couple have been known to have uh, CD soundtracks. Even the Nintendo Switch version, which is... I have it right here... Um, it's got like a UMD disc with a soundtrack on it. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So don't let them fool you. This is proof right here, guys, that they can put soundtracks in these Switch games if they want to. And if you look inside of a CD tray, you're going to see like a smaller uh, space for those UMDs to fit in. Um, you know, they were a lot more popular in the late 90s and early 2000s. But anyway, excellent game. Um, again, I don't know what the price is on this now, but it shouldn't shouldn't be too bad for Eden 4 or Riding 4 uh, on the Xbox 360. Uh, okay, this is another another really good one. One of my personal favorites. Uh, this is uh, Mushihima Sama. Um, this is uh, says it's version 1.5. Now I don't have the PS2 release. I should probably get that. As much as I like this game here, um, yeah, I think this is a sequel to uh, the original game. You know, guys, if you're like real knowledgeable about that, you know, give me some uh, info on that in the comments down below. Um, but this takes different uh, insect and uh, reptile, you know, dinosaur esque uh, animals. And, uh, you know, puts them in a sprite form, and, and it's a shooter, and they're slinging all kind of bullets all over the screen. Um, you know, excellent game. Um, the bosses on this thing are pretty incredible. Uh, the graphics on this thing are amazing. Um, I really need to get the PS2, I guess, the original version uh, of this game that was, uh, I think, exclusive to arcades in Japan. But, yeah, Mushihima-sama. I guess this is uh, Mushihima-sama Futari. Next up, okay, this was one I got for, I remember I got, a, I think, oh god, it might have been like 80 bucks I paid for this. Now, you might think that's a lot to pay for a game, but this is, uh, yep, it's a Dodonpachi Side-Eye Ojo. This is actually a steelbook, um, and it came inside of this. Here, I'll show you. Give me one second here. Uh, this is, It was like a collector's edition. Um, I think I got this on uh, Amazon Japan something like that but this is the steel book that was actually inside of this case so yeah this is a uh, this is probably one of my my better buys um you know those of you that know this game know that uh this game is uh i know the price on this thing's probably still pretty crazy but yeah the good cave shooter um you know easily the best released on the xbox 360 at least that i've ever played um 
Although there is a game, I think it's Instant Brian or Simple Brian, just like a visual novel game released in Japan that Cave did. There's a port of the original Dodon Pachi apparently, you know, embedded on the disc. So, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get that game that's Simple Brian, Instant Brian, before the price on that gets kind of crazy. But excellent shooter that is, Dodon Pachi Sadayojo. And last but not least, we have Death Smiles 2. Now, this is a Japanese exclusive, and this game is region locked. So, unfortunately, you know, I can't play this game. Now, I do have a friend that has a Japanese Xbox 360. That's the only time I can play it. But one of my goals in 2020 is to get either a Japanese Xbox 360 or a region locked Xbox 360 so I can not only play Death Smiles 2, but a couple other games that I've been buying Japanese exclusive Xbox 360 games. Plus, I want to go after the entire library of shooters on the Xbox 360, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty pretty good game. I actually like this one just as much as the first one. I've had people, I've heard them say that they didn't like it as much, but I do I do believe this was released uh, out here in the US. It's just download only. Maybe it still might be on the store, on the Xbox 360 and you can download it. You know, I don't know, I don't know, but here's the physical version. That's Death Smiles 2 for the Xbox 360. Anyways, guys, those are all the shooters I have for the Xbox 360. How many times have I said Xbox 360? I would love to know, you know, what games you played and you love on the system. Uh, you know, that's a system I've been buying games for for the past few years, and I've really come to love and appreciate the Xbox 360. And I know some of you guys, like Dat Game Collector, uh, Canadian Gamer, you know, Radical Rick, I know you guys are, are all huge fans of the Xbox 360. <laughs> So definitely recommend some games I should play you know, in the comments. But anyway, till next time, guys. Peace out.